Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how I transform my Commodore 64 into a full hardware Amiga clone. Not software emulation, but actual hardware. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a real big fan of the Turbo Chameleon from individual computers. With the, individual, with the Turbo Chameleon you can run extra cores. And those cores are hardware-based FPGA cores. The Amiga one in particular is very refined. Um, some people would say, oh, you're just getting power. No, you're not getting uh, just getting power. You can use the keyboard. You can have a mouse, even an original 1351 mouse plugged in. You can use the joystick port. You can do quite a bit, and there's a couple other little things, but it's it's very, very advanced. The, the features that are being added is just amazing. It's one of the best ways to run WHD load. This video, I'm pretty much just going to show you how I have this SD card configured and how I have my mini MIG configured. My video capture hardware is not the greatest, but this will do. I'll let this load in real time. Do this full startup sequence once for people curious what the full sequence looks like. Later demonstrations, I'll probably just get to the demonstration. This video is to show that and also to say that I plan on doing a series on the Turbo Chameleon. Hope to do for at least the next week, once a day, do a video either demonstrating something or explaining how to do something. You fix this aspect ratio a little bit better in one second. Okay, so there you have it. I have OS 3.9 on here. Show a couple things. Do a speed test. This will take a little bit. So if you want to go grab a coffee and come back, you can. It's kidding, it's not be that long, but this will this will take a little bit. You can already see the final speed numbers over here half the speed of a 68040 at 25 megahertz that's 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 pretty good this is plenty enough for WHD load As mentioned, keyboard works. That's a really nice feature. The first, I don't know how many, maybe six years of this course, six, seven years of this core, you could not use the keyboard. You had to use an external PS2 keyboard. So this was a really big deal to me. So when Alistair added that, I was very, very happy. And even though the 64 keyboard it's lacking a lot of the keys of an Amiga keyboard. There's shortcuts for all those missing keys. At some point I'll probably demonstrate that here.
pretty pretty big WHD load set up here. So if you'd like to see videos, a series of videos on the Turbo Chameleon, not just the Amiga core, but other cores and its native functions, uh, be happy to do it. So please like and subscribe and share this. The more engagement I get, the more subs I get, the more I'm going to be encouraged to do additional and deeper videos. Thank you.